So you're signing into your Windows PC using a Microsoft account, but you've changed your mind and you want to use a local account instead, stay tuned and I'll show you how to remove that Microsoft account. Hey everybody, Mike with IT Pro TV here. And before we get started, make sure you jump down below and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any of our upcoming content. All right, let's get started and talk about how we can remove our Microsoft account from our Windows PC. You know, and Microsoft pretty much almost forces you to create a Microsoft account when you install Windows, right? And there's a lot of advantages of using a Microsoft account. Uh, we get cloud storage like OneDrive. We can sync settings across multiple devices if we're using that same Microsoft account on several different devices. So there are some advantages to it. But there's also reasons why you might not want to. Maybe you don't have that email address anymore that you had used, or you want to stop using it, you don't care about syncing settings. Whatever the reason, you want to get rid of that Microsoft account and log on with a local account instead. You can do it, and I'm going to show you how. So join me on my screen here, and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to find out where we need to go to make this change. There's a couple of ways you can get there. I'm going to go to my Start menu, and I can either go to this little icon right here for the currently logged on user, and you can see I'm logged on using itprotvdemo at outlook.com, and that's a, that's a Microsoft account. If I click on that, I'll have the option to change account settings. That's really where I need to end up to do this process. But I can also just go to my settings right down here and get to the same place. So either way you want to go takes you to the same place. Once you get into your settings, you're going to click on accounts. This is where we're going to work with our Microsoft account and switch it over to a local account. All right. So here you can see the log the account I'm currently using, that Microsoft account. And you can see things like manage my Microsoft account. But right down below there, this little tiny link that I don't like you to see, sign in with a local account instead. This is where we're going to make that switch. All right. So I'm going to click on that. Hey, that's what I want to do. I want to sign in with a local account instead. So I click on that. And it's first going to give me the pitch, right? Microsoft is going to tell you, hey, there's a lot of advantages of using a Microsoft account. Are you sure you want to do this? You've already made your decision. And yes, you're sure. So we're going to go ahead and click next on this screen here. Now, I'm going to need to verify that I have permission to remove this account. I need to know the password for the Microsoft account that's currently being used on this PC. That's to prevent bad guys from maybe trying to do something to your machine um, that you didn't want them to do. So we'll authenticate real quick type in that password for that account, and we'll click OK. And assuming I typed in the right password, it brings me to this next screen. And this is a very important screen here. If I remove the Microsoft account, I need a local account that I can log back in with. And there might not be one on your system. By default in Windows 10, the administrator account, the guest account, all of those are disabled. And the only account you have access to is that Microsoft account you used when you installed or first signed in to your brand new PC. So you probably don't have a local account existing. And if I remove my Microsoft account, what am I going to log back in with? I need a local account. So this is giving me the chance to make a new local account. So you can see here, I'm going to put in a username and the password twice to make sure I know what it is, and then a password hint. And that password hint is required. So let me change this. I want to make an account uh, for, let's use Courtney. All right. And we'll put in a new password. A couple of times here. And then my password hint, whatever it is I want to remind me. If I ever type it in incorrectly, it'll give me this hint and say, here's what you said to remind you with to help you remember what you used for your password. I'll go ahead and click Next. And it tells me I'm almost done. Make sure you save anything that you might be currently working on because you're going to lose that when you switch over to this new account. So I'll click sign out and finish because it's going to make me sign out. So if I had an open document or something like that, I could lose those changes. I'll click sign out and finish. And it's going to log me out, reboot my PC, and then ask me to log back in. Now I'm going to do something that you won't have to do. Because I'm doing this demo in a virtual machine, I got to close this window and reconnect to it. On your PC, it's just going to bring you back to the logon screen, something like this, and look at there. There's the name I input for that new user account. I simply type in the password, and I should be able to log in. Right? And here's the cool thing about this process, right? You've been using that Microsoft account for a little while. You had things in your My Documents folder, your pictures. What happened to all that stuff? 
it's still there, right? All it did was really switch your profile over to this new local account. So you don't have to worry about losing access to your pictures or your documents or your downloads or anything like that. They're all gonna be there, but you're now logging in with a local account that's not synchronizing with any cloud services or any other devices. So there you go, pretty easy process once you know where to go to remove that Microsoft account and begin logging on with a local account.